Hi everyone. Today we will continue on chapter 9 applications of differentiation. And our subtopic for today, we are going to focus on application of differentiation in economics and business, which is this is the last topic for this chapter. So, in this lecture 4 of 4, we are going to apply differentiation in economics and business. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to express the relationship between cost, revenue and profit. Second, students also should be able to compute average cost and marginal cost, marginal revenue and marginal profit. And lastly, students also should be able to compute maximum revenue, minimum cost and maximum profit by using second derivative test. Now, let's look at revenue, marginal revenue and maximum revenue. So, here we have revenue. Given Px is the price or demand function which is the unit price offered for x units of product demanded. So, the total revenue here we represent as the capital letter R, X, represents the total revenue for selling X units of product. So, total revenue equals to price times quantity, which is R, X equals to P, X times X. So, you need to remember this equation. R, X equals to P, X times X. Next, we have marginal revenue. So, marginal revenue function represent as R prime X equals to the first derivative of the function Rx. So, you need to differentiate Rx. The marginal revenue can be interpreted as the extra revenue from an extra unit sold at number of units demanded X. Next, we also have maximum revenue by using second derivative test. In order to maximize revenue at the level of production x naught, the following conditions must be satisfied. So here we have two conditions that you need to be satisfied in order to maximizing revenue. So the first one is R prime x naught equals to zero. And R double prime X naught must be less than 0. So here as you remember from the last lectures, the first derivative equals to 0. This is to find the production level. And here, second derivative. When we have second derivative less than 0, it means that it is maximum point. Represent as the set phase here. So, you need to obey these two conditions in order to maximize revenue. The first one, R prime X naught equals to zero and R double prime X naught must be less than zero so that you can have the set phase. The maximum point is here. Therefore, the maximum revenue is given by R X naught. So now let's look at the example regarding revenue. Example 1. The demand function in RM for X units of computer component is given by Px equals to 320 minus 0.1 x fine for if the revenue function be the number of unit of the computer component that need to be sold and see the maximum revenue so first we want to find the revenue function you can find revenue function by multiply price function with quantity in this case the price function is given 320 minus 0.1 x uh, so you multiply with quantity x expand the, the term so you'll get 320 x minus 0.1 x square then for b 
the number of units of the computer component that need to be solved. That means you have to differentiate the revenue function or find the marginal revenue. So our prime equals to 320 minus 0.2x. Equate the marginal revenue with 0 to find the value of x. 320 minus 0.2x equals to 0. So your x equals to 1600. Don't forget to test your value. So we have to find the second order derivative for marginal revenue. Uh, the value is negative. That means it is a maximum. Write the conclusion. 1600 units of computer component need to be sold to, to maximize the revenue. And for C, we want to find the maximum revenue. So we substitute quantity or x equals to 1600 into the revenue function. So our 1600 is equals to 320 multiplied with 1600 minus 0 0.1 multiplied with 1600 square. The value is 256,000. Uh, don't forget to write the unit RM. Uh, so maximum revenue is 256,000 ringgit. Example 2. Innovation syndrome made toys. The demand function in RM is Px equals to 80 minus 0.04x, where x is the number of toys made. Find the maximum revenue and the number of toys that need to be sold. Hence, find the price at the maximum revenue. So, this question gives price function, okay, or demand function, and it wants us to find the maximum revenue, the number of toys, okay, and hence, find the price. Uh, so, first, we have to proceed with number of toys or quantity. Uh, all is about revenue. So, for sure, we have to find the revenue function. Okay, price multiply with quantity. 80 minus 0.004x multiply with quantity x. So, 80x minus 0.004x square. So, after we get the, the revenue function, okay, we find the marginal revenue in order to find the quantity. So, R prime is equal to 80 minus 0.008x. Equate the marginal revenue with 0. Uh, so, your x equals to 10,000. Okay, as usual, okay, don't forget to test your value by using the second order derivative test. R double prime is negative 0.008. Okay, less than zero. Uh, so for sure, it is a maximum. For conclusion, 10,000 units of toys need to be sold to maximize the revenue. Uh, so after we get the quantity, then we can proceed to maximum revenue. Uh, we substitute x equals to 10,000 into your revenue function. 80 multiply with 10,000 minus with 0 0.004 multiply with 10,000 square. Uh, so the value, the maximum revenue should be 400,000. Uh, write your answer in RM. Uh, the maximum revenue is RM 400,000. Uh, hence, find the price at the maximum revenue. Uh, so, at maximum revenue, that means we use the same x. Okay, when x equals to 10,000. Okay, and then we substitute the values into price function. Uh, P10,000 is equals to 80 minus 0 0.004 multiply with 10,000. Okay, we should get 40. We can conclude that the price is 40 ringgit 
at the maximum revenue.